how far from A should the point P be chosen so as to maximize the angle theta? Okay, as usual, let's start by labeling some uh, distances. The distance from A to P, I'm gonna call that X. Therefore, the distance from P to B should be three minus X, right? I'm gonna call this angle alpha, this angle beta. And now the goal, let's write it here clearly, is to maximize, maximize theta, right? Equivalent, equivalent to maximize tangent of theta, tangent of theta. And why is that? Well, notice the graph of the tangent function between zero, between zero and pi over two is strictly increasing, right? That is the reason, okay? Clearly, this theta is between zero and pi over two radians, right? Between zero and 90 degrees, right? So we're gonna use this trick. All right, so now, tangent of theta can be expressed as follows. Notice, if I draw this parallel line to the base here, this is clearly alpha, this is clearly beta, right? So Theta can be written as alpha plus beta, right? So therefore, tangent of theta should be tangent of alpha plus tangent of beta, all divided by one minus tangent of alpha multiplied by tangent of beta. Great. So now, now we have a way to express tangent of theta in terms of x, you will see. Tangent of theta then should be just tangent of alpha, which is three minus x over two plus tangent of beta, which is just x over five, all divided by one minus, one minus, one minus three minus x over two times x over five, great. Now, when you simplify this expression, you know, canceling the denominators and stuff, you are going to get this, 15 minus three x on the numerator, on the denominator, 10 minus three x plus x squared, great. So now, in order to maximize this, I'm gonna take the derivative and set it equal to zero. That way I will find the critical values. Derivative of this quotient, using the quotient rule should be derivative of the numerator negative three times denominator minus derivative of the denominator minus three plus two x times the function on the numerator in its original form, great. This is it, right? All divided by 10 minus three X plus X squared, all squared. That derivative should set to be equal to zero. Notice this guy goes to the other side multiplying. We can cancel it. So only that numerator should be set to be equal to zero, right? Now, when you simplify this algebraically, you're gonna get three X squared minus 30 X plus 15 equals zero. Solving this using the quadratic formula, we're gonna get two solutions. X equal 0 0.528. First solution, second solution, X equal 9.472. Now, this solution doesn't make sense. Why do you say that, Professor? Well, notice x bounded below by zero, bounded above by three, right? So we just take this guy as a serious candidate to maximize tangent of theta and therefore to maximize theta, right? Good, but now just to make sure 
that x is going to maximize our theta, let's do some evaluations. X here, tangent of x here, tangent of theta there, sorry. And here, let's uh, evaluate the endpoint 0, 3, and in between our strong candidate 0 0.5 to 8. Let's see what we get for tangent of theta. When you evaluate zero at this function, zero, 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 10 into 15, 1.5, right? When you evaluate this guy into this function, you're gonna get 1.543, rounded to three decimal places as usual. When you evaluate this guy in here, look, zero, zero, three over five, zero point six, right? There we go, zero point six. The winner is this guy, right? This is the guy that maximizes tangent of theta and therefore maximizes theta. So this should be our answer, right? 0 0.5, 0 0.528, 0 0.528, right? I hope this video helped you. If you like it, please subscribe. More videos coming up. Thank you.